Assalamu alaikum my dear students how are you hope you are fine by the grace of almighty allah welcome to NIBS home school this is shahada de akhtar assistant teacher of science of national ideal english version school day shift today i am going to take a science class for class 1 students my dear students our today's topic chapter 3 reading done page number 23 to 26 our today's lecture number 6 and hw number 4 my dear students let's start our class <coughs> my dear students take your science book general science book and open page number 23 okay open this page page number 23 and follow this class with your textbook <coughs> my dear students let's start our class chapter 3 the plain genre in our previous class we have already discussed uh, from uh, page number 20 uh, we have already discussed page number 22 today we will discuss from page number 23 climbers stems of some plants are weak they cannot stand erect on their own they need the support of another plant or sticks to stand and these plants are called climbers my dear students stems of some plants are weak okay underline this line stems of some plants are weak and they cannot stand erect erect means erect means straight and upright okay erect means straight and upright they cannot these type of plants cannot erect on their own they need the support of another plant or sticks to stand these type of plants are called climbers okay what is called climbers some plants stems of some plants are weak they cannot stand erect on their own they need the support of another plant or stick to stand these plants are called climbers grapevine pea money plant etc are climbers these are the examples of climbers okay my dear students see this figure here given three uh, figure these are the examples of climbers this is grapevine this is pea and this is money plant okay all these plants are climbers that means they cannot stand erect or straight okay of their own they need to support uh, or uh, support of another plant or sticks to stand that's why they are called climbers now come to creepers creepers okay some plants crawl along the ground some plants crawl along the ground they are called creepers okay what is called creepers underline this line some plants crawl along the ground they are called creepers creepers have weak stems creepers have weak stems they cannot stand erect they also cannot stand erect erect means straight or up and upward okay some creepers are pumpkins and watermelon that means pumpkin and watermelons are the examples of creepers see this figure they are given two figures okay this is pumpkin and this is watermelon okay pumpkin and watermelons are the example of creepers that means they are uh, they crawl along the ground these plants crawl along the ground they are called that's why they are called creepers okay creepers have weak stems now come to thro thorny plants some plants have thorns some plants have thorns animals do not eat such plants such plants are called thorny plants what is called thorny plants some plants have thorns animals do not eat such plants such plants are called thorny plants some thorny plants are cactus and rose my dear students cact underline this line cactus cactus and rose are the examples of thorny plants here are given two examples okay this is rose and this is cactus these are the example of thorny plants see this figure here are thorns okay these plants bear thorns that's why these plants are called thorny plants now come to water plant some plants grow in water they are called water plants what is called water plants 
my dear students underline this line some plants grow in water they are called water plants okay water lily and lotus are water plants okay underline this line this is very very important for filling the blanks okay water lily and lotus are water plants see this figure this is the figure of water lily and this is lotus these are water plants white water lily is the national flower of bangladesh white water lily is the national flower of bangladesh my dear students some plants are carnivores some plants are carnivores they eat small insects and spiders a well known example of carnivorous plants is the venus fly trap my dear students what is carnivores some plants are carnivores uh, uh, they eat small insects and spiders those plants eat small insects and spiders are called carnivores okay these plants are called carnivorous plants a well known example of a carnivorous plant is the venus fly trap okay venus fly trap is the example of carnivorous plants this type of plants eat small insects and spider now come to point to points to remember okay this is very uh, important for uh, you and you have to memorize this line okay tall big and strong plants are called trees what is called trees tall big and strong plants are called trees plants with thin hard woody stem are called shrubs okay my dear students this is very very important line you have to memorize this line okay what is called shrubs plants with thin hard woody stems are called shrubs plants with soft and green stems are called herbs what is called herbs plants with soft and green stems are called herbs plants that need support to stand are called climbers what is climbers so, uh, plants that need support to stand and are called climbers now what is creeper plants crawl along the ground are called creepers okay plants with thorns are called thorny plants what is called thorny plants plants with thorns are called thorny plants plants growing in water are called water plants okay memorize this <coughs> definition this is very very important for you okay now come to exercise choose the correct option number 1 which one is a shrub tulsi mint and grass my dear students tulsi is a shrub we have already learned from uh, this in the chapter so put a tick mark on tulsi tulsi is a shrub now come to number 2 which one is a creeper grapevine fig and pumpkin which one is creeper we know grapevine and pea e are the example of climbers okay and we know pumpkin is the example of creepers that means correct answer is pumpkin which one is a creeper pumpkin so put a tick mark on pumpkin and come to number 3 now rose is an example of a herb thorny plants tree my dear students oh you know rose is a thorny plants that means this is correct answer so put a tick mark on thorny plants rose is an example of thorny plants now come to next page fill in the blanks fill up the blanks with correct words number 1 animals do not eat dead plants my dear students what will be animals do not eat dead plants we know from this chapter animals do not eat thorny plants okay that means our answer will be thorny so write thorny t h o r n y thorny animals do not eat thorny plants now come to number 
water lily and dash are water plants my dear students we have already learned these fill in the blanks in the chapter water lily and lotus are water plants okay that means here will be lotus l o t u s lotus okay water lily and lotus are water plants now come to number 3 they sleep for several years sharp sleep for several years so right sharps okay <coughs> s h sharps s h r u b sharp leaf for several years now come to number 4 dress leaf only for a few months my dear students we have learned that herbs leaf only for a few months here will be herb okay right herbs herb leaf only for a few months now last fill in the blanks the stem of a tree is called the dash what will be the answer the stem of a tree is called the trunk so right trunk okay <coughs> my dear students your our today's sw number is 4 and your sw is page number 26 fill in the blanks that means this fill in the blanks so do this fill in the blanks as your sw and submit it on saturday my dear students hope you have understood our today's topic keep practicing at home do your sw regularly and uh, properly and submit regularly see you again in the next class allah hafiz